Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're talking about knee pain and it's around this time of year I start seeing a lot more people coming in with pain in the knees. Now there's many different causes of knee pain but around this time of year the main cause of knee pain is people going out running. The reason is because they have started their New Year's resolutions, they want to lose weight, they want to get fit, so they're going out and paving, uh, pounding the pavement. Now running is not the best exercise for most people. Most people's bodies just cannot deal with the stress of running. On top of that, if you're overweight, you're going to be putting a lot more stress through the bones. Now I'm going to talk about a little bit of technique in a minute, but this is not a technique video. So most people come in with pain around the front of their knees, sort of on the knee, just on the kneecap or just underneath the kneecap. So in my experience, that is caused by too much too soon and also too much tightness through the quadriceps muscles. So what happens is that you're going out, you're running, you're causing some micro damage, which is normal, which is part of the exercise process and that's how your body gets stronger and fitter. But what then happens is that they don't allow enough time to recover. These people are often going out three or four times a week. Now for most people who are starting a New Year's resolution, who have not conditioned their bodies to get used to running, they don't allow enough time for their bodies to repair. So they go out, they run, they injure themselves slightly, but then they don't allow enough time to repair. They go out the next day or the day after and they run again. And this causes more inflammation, this causes more damage, and the damaged muscles and tendons don't get enough time to repair. So then more and more and more damage to that area occurs and then they end up with a chronic knee pain. So when you're going out running, the first thing I want you to consider is how conditioned is your body? Are you used to running? Are you in good shape already? Are your bones in good shape? Have you been exercising for years leading up to this? If not, my suggestion would be start off very, very cautiously and very slow. If you are new to running, maybe only do about 10, 15 minutes initially. After two or three days recovery and rest, then you can go out another 10, 15 minutes and gradually build up by five minutes every day. Now, when you're running, what's happening is you're hitting the floor with your heels. The most, light, the most common type of running technique is a heel striker. And that's when you hit the ground with your heel and roll onto the midfoot and then the forefoot and then push to carry on. So they're hitting the ground with their heels, which sends shock into their heel bone, which then sends shock up through the shin, into the knee, into the hip, and into the back. It's not a very nice thing for your body to experience. So, my suggestion, if you're going to start running, first thing is to think about your running technique. Before you even start running, think about your technique. When you go out, try, and hit the ground with your midfoot or your front of your foot. The reason is because as you hit the ground with the, with the mid or the front foot, you're not causing so much shock to go through your heel bone. This allows some absorbance of the shock, which doesn't put as much stress through the bones. The downside to this is that you're gonna put more strain through the Achilles tendon and the calf muscles which is another reason why I suggest that you only start with about 10 to 15 minutes initially. On days when you're not running, my other suggestion would be to be stretching and foam rolling, particularly foam rolling your calves and your quads, and stretching your, foot, stretching your quads and your calves as well. The reason why most people have pain in the front part of their knee, particularly underneath the kneecap or on the top of the shin bone, is because this is where your patella tendon attaches and the patella tendon is what attaches your quadriceps to your shin bone. Tightness in your quad muscle will cause a pull on your patella tendon. So the more tightness you have going through your quad, the more strain is going through the tendon and the more likely that is going to cause tendonitis. Which is one of the reasons why I suggest you stretch and you foam roll your quad muscle. 
So guys, I hope that helps today. If you are thinking about going out running and you're new to exercise, really do pay attention to how your body feels. Really do start off with very small amounts of running and build it up over time. If you start off too much too soon, I guarantee you will start getting injuries and it's something that I see a lot. So do take that advice very seriously. There are better forms of exercise if you are trying to lose weight. I would suggest low impact cardio work like cross trainer, bike, rowing machine. And I would also suggest you start putting some weight training in there because that will really help your muscles to get stronger. If you have any questions, please do stick them in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have. And until the next video, I will see you soon. Bye bye.